Hello, everybody. Michael Vincent. No logistic news and entertainment. Stench free zone. The U.S. looks to India to replace China as a key supply chain partner. Plenty of pictures from the G7 summit of President Biden and Prime Minister Modi whispering sweet nothings in each other's ears. Not even a year ago, India was on the most hated list for not condemning Putin. That alone should paint the picture of why nearshoring isn't the answer and never will be the answer. Why would India be pro-Russia and stand side by side on the U.S. opposing China's aggressive stance on borders in the Indo-Pacific region? Why would the U.S. jump from one Russian ally to another when looking for key supply chain partners? There's two reasons for this, really, and they're not all that complicated. One is economics. Two, world peace. Or domination. India is cheaper than Mexico, Canada, and certainly the made in the USA tag. There's also the fact that the infrastructure needed for this move into India and the entire Indo-Pacific region has been growing for many years. It's also better to shit in somebody else's backyard. Industry isn't all that clean and it's easier to force somebody else to be green. Certainly better to blame someone else. But also international trade capacity utilization that would suffer with even more excess capacity as the supply chain shifted to nearshoring. So, so various important materials are sourced overseas for various reasons. Money, ability, mineral deposits, political, environmental. It's a couple more. Supporting the mechanisms for excess operating at a certain level of reliability is extremely important. World peace, geopolitical strategy. India's stance on the invasion of Ukraine was one of national security concerns. 100% agree. They could not bite the hand that feeds their economy. I should say hands, really. So they ignored Putin's aggression and played nice with the U.S. on the whole China issue. So now if we delete China as a supply chain partner and add India, 